now time for... Hamish versus Andy. I wasn't scared, I was acting. Mm. Oh, well, I don't want to have a go at last week, no. but this week's Hamish versus Andy is easily the most epic one we've done all series. Yeah. It's hitchhike racing. The rules of hitchhike racing are simple. Uh, you just pick a spot in the middle of Europe and over 24 hours try and get as far away from that spot as you can only by hitchhiking. You cannot pay for a lift. Mm. Uh, <laughs> so I just almost turned into a doing sign language there. Uh, <laughs> the only other rule, and this is an important rule, yeah. is you are not allowed at all to be killed or kidnapped <laughs> for the entire race. Absolutely. Oh, there was one other rule. Yep. Uh, during the race, uh, we were allowed to send something to the other person to hinder them from getting a lift. We started just outside of Frankfurt in Germany because... It's sort of roughly in the middle of Europe. It's just, yeah, that's sort of where we picked. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> from somewhere in Europe, this is the ultimate challenge of endurance, speed and charm. It's 24 hours of highs, lows and complete unpredictability. It is, of course, Hitchhike Racing. With the rules for this epic battle, here's Ryan Shelton. In Hitchhike Racing, competitors have 24 hours to hitchhike as far as they can through Europe. No payments can be made and competitors must be invited into the vehicle. The competitor who's hitchhiked the furthest after 24 hours wins the race. Thank you, Sean, Ryan. We're nearly at our starting time of 12 noon, but earlier Andy Lee won the toss and elected to head to the left of your screen. This hitchhiking journey will begin today just outside of Frankfurt, Germany. And we're very close now. Three, two, one. Thumbs out, and we are hitchhike racing. <laughs> and Andy Lee almost immediately wiped out. That would have been a very quick victory for Blake. Oh, don't tell me. 30 seconds in, yes, yes. and Blake lands away. <laughs> this is unbelievable stuff early on. See you, mate. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. What's your name again? Uva. Uva. Yeah. I'm Hamish. You wouldn't be going to London by any chance, would you? <laughs> London? Very optimistic from Blake. We cross to Ryan with Hamish now. Ryan, he's doing well already. What a start. Yes, he certainly is. What a start. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. And while Lee still remains liftless at the starting line, Blake is heading west and working on some conversation. Mese gung für Kinder. <laughs> well, that certainly isn't his strong point. 45 minutes in now, and Lee is growing increasingly desperate. She's a quiet one. That's an understatement. Meanwhile, Blake's first ride is coming to an end. Danke, Uwe. Danke, danke. <laughs> no way. Thank you. As Uwe arrives at work, Ryan is with him now. Excuse me, sir. Really good driving. Thank you very much. How was that? What? It was good. Back to you. Thank you, Ryan. <laughs> Lee, on the other hand, is in real trouble. Still on the starting line after 90 minutes. He really needs something special. And he may have it. Yes, a convertible. In yes. the form of a convertible. Yes. In style. Yes. In Lee style. is finally on his way. OK, Stephen Spielberg, let's go. A massive <laughs> relief for Lee. But we'll come back to him in a moment, because Blake seems to be on a mission. Are you heading west? Are you heading anywhere west? Who's going west around here? We, you don't know. From what I can tell, it sounds like he's hoping to head west. West? Yes. Should, can I come in? Yes. You said yes, but your truck's moving. And while we were with Blake, Lee's first and only ride came to an end, which means the waiting game begins again. This bit's definitely not as fun as the sitting in a car bit. Well, Lee really falling behind now. As you can see here, already 30 kilometres or so behind Blake. Oh, it's about to get worse for Lee as Blake has caught yeah, the attention yeah, yeah, of a yeah. maroon BMW yeah, on its way to... Yeah, yeah, Mannheim, Mannheim! Mannheim! Yeah. Yet another great break for Blake. Hi, I'm Hamish. Günther. Günther. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's great. And... And, uh, like three peas in a maroon pod. But is Lee about to join a maroon pod of his own? It's hard, it's hard to tell if, if he's in or not. No, I don't think he is. They're driving away without him. I'm not sure what happened there. Hopefully Ryan can shed some light on that. Ryan, are you nearby? No. <laughs> no. Right, OK. Blake, meanwhile, seems to be getting dropped yeah, yeah. off. You kiss it for good luck. Yep. 
Hey, yeah, then you got it all day. Kiss it, kiss it, kiss it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now there's Blake's signature thumb kiss. But over in the Lee camp, he's broken his three-hour drought and has finally been picked up. What's your name? Andrew's my name. Andrew. Yes, that's <laughs> it. <laughs> oh, they have the same name. Isn't that adorable? <laughs> Meanwhile, in Mannheim, Blake is trying an old hitchhiking favourite, the truck stop. Sorry, everyone, if I just have your attention, please. I don't know if you speak English or not, but Autobahn sex. Is anyone going on Autobahn sex? Yes, Blake is looking to extend his lead by translating Autobahn 6 into German. I'm just a man asking the world for Autobahn sex. Well, let's leave Blake there for now because there are interesting developments in Lee's vehicle over the past 15 or 20 minutes. It seems our other Andrew is a face puller, as you can see in the replays. <laughs> Of course, uh, a lot of backlash toward the face pulling from many people. I, however, think it's great for the sport. Both competitors experiencing dry spells, and Blake is calling for his hinder. Here's the official oh. now with Hamish's surprise hinder. Not now. Any time but now. Well, this is a world-class <laughs> hinder. And oh no! A police vehicle has just pulled up to Lee. Ryan, yeah, I'm can, here. can you tell us what's yeah. going on? No, 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 I'm with, I'm with Hamish. What's going on? No. Back to you. Apologies again for that. This is a real roadblock for Lee, and Blake is obviously delighted with the unexpected yes. bonus. Lock him up, boys. <laughs> Lee escapes with a warning. Blake, meanwhile, is working hard. I'm fresh, mate. Pull over and get me. Do you know what? Thank you. Thank you so well, much. Well, this man stopped for petrol and now he's driving away with almost 100 kilograms of fresh meat. I'm so close to the border. We leave Blake buoyant and poised to cross the French border. Lee, on the other hand, still only with those two short trips. Stick around, race fans, because this is shaping up to be one of the greatest hitchhike racing conclusions I've ever seen. Ever. <laughs> Welcome back to Hitchhike Racing, where Blake has an extraordinary lead and Lee is still struggling for a lift. Back live as Blake seals another trip with a trademark kiss. Lee needs a good Samaritan. Hello. And he may just have found one. Baden Baden, that'd be great, thank After you. After four hours of waiting, he picks up the lift he so desperately needed. Blake, on the other hand, finding enough time for some oh, skill oh testing. God. Oh, my God! Well, hitchhike racing or not, two toys in one is a rare sight. What a treat from Blake. Earlier with Lee... Uh, oh, can I have a waffle? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Lee carving up, but an early drop-off places him in Worms as the luck continues for Blake. This time he's headed for Saarbrücken with some party girls. You want me to dance at the party? Well, I'm supposed to be racing there, I and mean, you guys have been so nice to me. Moments ago, Lee was in Burger King deciding between the... Oh, hang on. No, no, we go back live as Lee looks to have talked his way into an Audi. This could be a game changer, folks. How will Blake respond in Saarbrücken? Well, I'm not sure this is an appropriate use of his time or energy. Ryan, what's going on in there? Ryan? Ryan? I will leave them there for now and rejoin Lee, who is almost literally flying. Australia? Yes, Australia. Riveting stuff inside <laughs> Lee's car. Back to Blake, who's exiting Blau nightclub, and it looks like he's decided to proceed on foot. Hamish has decided to jog with his thumb out all the way to France. Hamish, how are you feeling? Every kilometre counts. We're forest gumping it, right? It's almost <laughs> midnight. What a hitchhiking moment. Back to you. Well, I don't know whether this is inspired or insane, but there's nothing in the rule book against it. And if we have a look now at our SCA, our speed comparison analyzer, yep. As I thought, driving in an Audi Quattro is faster than running. It's now after midnight, and after running for an hour, Blake has crossed into France, but he's lost a lot of ground to Lee. How's he feeling, Ryan? Hitchhiking racing is at a high right now. Just hitchhiking your sneakers, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> right, he doesn't quite know what he's talking about. Back to you. Thanks, Ryan. It saddens me to say, but at 2 a.m., it looks like Lee's glory run has finally come to an end. A whopping 180 kilometer ride, leaving Blake 12 kilometers behind him in fourback. What a race! 
Blake, as you can see, not in the best state for hitchhiking. But what's this? Lee has another ride. Oh, this is textbook hitchhiking. <laughs> what sort of people get up early? Bakers. To come to the bakery factory. Where they keep their bakery truck. Well, Blake obviously struggling with mental fatigue. Back in the truck now with Lee. He's gaining kilometres and executing his signature movie brings out during moments of tiredness, sleeping. Meanwhile, in four back, still no movement from the bakery truck. As the sun rises, let's look at the split. Hamish is 243 kilometres, while Andy sits proudly at 353 kilometres. But I'm hearing more problems for Blake, however, as he returns from a wee stop Ryan? Yeah, it's another case of horrible timing for Hamish on this hitchhike race. The truck left about five minutes ago, heading in the direction that Hamish wanted to. Heartbreaking for Blake, but Lee on foot now. And another blow for Blake as Lee calls in his hinder. What could it be? Oh, take a high. While there may not be a lot on for Lee, Blake has even less on now in a custom-made nude suit. That's what I call a hinder surprise. <laughs> Lee quickly picks up his sixth ride after some extremely smart play. Ryan, would you agree? Ryan, can you hear me? Yeah, I, I hear you well, and uh, we haven't seen smart hitchhike racing yes, like this yes. from Andy, have we? Yes! Oh, no. We've got a live pickup. That was so close. <laughs> so close. Hamish has got to be careful. Back to you. He certainly does. Lee finishes up his sixth ride for the race and is worlds ahead now with only five hours remaining. Blake needs to dig deep. This lorry could be the answer. Are you going to Paris? Yes? Will you take me? Will you take me to Paris? <laughs> yes! My word! A huge result for Blake. This could change everything. Lee trying to gain any ground he can but it is laughable against the might of this lorry. I got three and a half hours left in this contest. I might just win it, Mike. We might win. Blake is blazing towards Paris and has gained some 230 kilometers on Lee. This looks like me. This is you. <laughs> it's us. It's a sign. Well, after 24 grueling hours on the road, who would have thought it would come to this? Blake is hammering. Lee is stagnant. This is quite the thriller as the countdown begins. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's it. We stop Blake there for some quick calculations. 487 kilometers for Blake. The count for Lee. 623. Lee has it. Ryan, of course, you're with the champion, right? Annoyingly, I'm, I'm with the, the loser, Hamish. It's a really bad choice for me. All right, mate, settle down. Uh, but, but I understand that I have Andy on the line. Andy, how do you feel? Normally it takes three or four weeks for the thumb to recover after this, but not tonight. There'll be too many champagnes. And yes, I can say champagne, not sparkling wine, because I'm in France. What an amazing <laughs> hitchhike race. Commiserations, of course, to you. Uh, back to you in the studio. Thanks, Ryan. It truly has been an epic hitchhike race. We'll catch you next time. Good night. Guys, you've got nothing else to do. Come on, keep watching. Go, go, go. We don't want to appear needy, but please subscribe. Hey, Ando, you know who subscribed recently? Mm. That big Japanese YouTube star. Oh. That everyone likes. Yeah, great. But she's on. Yeah. You get on. Subscribe. <laughs>